The Wapaka County Fair is setting records before it even starts. A record number of guests in our studio. That's actually not the official one they've set. We have a great group of people here, though, with details on their 150th anniversary. Richard is the fair manager. Miranda is the secretary. We welcome our incoming and outgoing Ferris, along with exhibitors Luke and Elena. Good morning to everyone. Thank you for being here. Let's start with an introduction. 150 years, that is a fantastic milestone. What is it about the Wapaka County Fair that has kept it going all those years? Um, a lot of volunteers and a lot of farms in the area that keep bringing their animals and, mm -hmm. and a lot of fun. Well, we're gonna get to all of the fun that they have planned for this year. I have to talk to our Ferris. As you wrap up your, your year, you're gonna crown a, a new Ferris. What did you love about the program? I just loved overall meeting all the people and the exhibitors. Getting to know everyone through my reign has been an outstanding accomplishment. It was one of my goals, and I'm sad my year's coming to an end, but I'm handing it over to a person that will take better care of more than I will probably, but I'm just excited. The Ferris program is one that will always be a part of my heart. Yeah, what, talk about your involvement in the fair. I know both of you have been involved since little on. What kept you involved all those years? Yeah, so I've shown dairy for 12 plus years of my life and looking up to the fairs, like, they were my role model and yeah. seeing them hand out ribbons, I'm like, I want to be that person, so being Ferris it was a childhood dream come true. Well, and congratulations to our new Ferris. Talk yeah. a little bit about your past involvement and what drew you to the Ferris program. Yeah, I've been in 4-H and showing at the fair and involved with projects at the fair since I was like 14 years now, since wow, I was in kindergarten. Great. So um, I'm just really excited to represent the fair and all the like many, many community members. We have like almost 500 people exhibiting at the fair this year. That's the record, right? Yeah. You did set yeah. an incredible record mm -hmm. number of entries. And that's just a lot of community members who have put a lot of effort in over the year and are bringing their projects to get judged. And I'm just really proud to represent all of them. Miranda, we uh, no doubt this is reason alone to come to see all the hard work that these folks have put into their projects and ag exhibits, but you guys have an entertainment lineup that you have something going on all the time at the fair. Yeah, we do. Uh, we have a lot of truck and tractor pulls. Wednesday night we have our Wapaka County farm and tractor pull. Thursday night we have bull riding uh, with Rice Entertainment. That will be bull riding and barrel racing. Uh, Friday is our NEW truck pull. And Saturday we have the NTPA truck and tractor pull. Okay. And Sunday we'll end the fair with demolition derby and then fireworks. Wow, and so, look, looking on your page too, you have music popping up all the time. It seems like it's yeah. a high energy show. Yeah, it is. And all of our grandstand music entertainment this year is free. Uh, for our 150th anniversary, we wanted to try to do something different. So you pay your entry fee at the gate and that gets you into everything the fair has to offer. Certainly you're involved in the fair and you've got the next generation yes. involved, your kiddos here. Why is that important to you? Uh, the fair's always been important to me, like these ladies. I uh, was in 4-H, took animals to the fair, was also a fairist to the fair, mm -hmm. and now on the fair board and working with them. Elena, let's start with you. What are you showing at the fair this year? Um, I'm showing a dairy calf. Okay. And you were showing me your book. I'm going to move this so that we can get some pictures out of it. What is the process like? How far ahead of the fair do you pick your animal? Um, two months. About two months. What were you looking for? Did you just kind of look for one that you had a connection with? Um, we look for the nicest looking cow in the pen. Okay. Well, it sounds like you got that figured out. What do you love about showing? Um, I love the competition, and I just love spending time with my animal. Okay. Well, I always, I always have to ask kids about fair food, too, because you guys know where it is at. What is your favorite thing to eat at the fair? Um, probably the mac and cheese with pulled pork over it. Okay. All right. Add that to our list. And Luke, you can pass the, the microphone to your brother. What are you showing at the fair this year? A Lego tractor. Is this it right here? Mm-hmm. Can it, Maybe your sister could hold the microphone and you could give us a little demo because not only have you built it, but it works. So it unfolds. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Are you involved in 4-H? Is that how you yeah. get, get involved in the fair? What do you like about doing 4-H? Uh, I don't know. I like putting my stuff into the fair. I think that sounds good. Okay, how about the food? What are we, what are we eating if we go with Luke? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. All right, it sounds like we've got a good meal planned. Richard, talk to me a little bit about what I need to know. What about parking? Do I need to buy tickets ahead of time? Um, no, everything, parking is free. We have one admission this year. So everything, once you get into the fairgrounds, it's free, except for the rides you have to pay. I mean, we got a mega bet pass, 
you can buy before the fair okay. for sixty dollars. Also, there's a wristband day every day, all day long. Um, we have free grandstand events and music this year. Right. Uh, we have Saturday. We'll start with Saturday night. We have Avenue Fifty Five and Glam Band uh, coming back. They were there last year. Brought a big crowd. Yeah. Um, Friday night we have uh, Bella Kane. Great. And uh, and uh, two hype crew. Okay. Uh, Thursday we have uh, Eli Elledge and the Faster Horses. They're from Iowa, country singer. And then Wednesday we have uh, Ken Yankee's tribute bands. Incredible lineup. What are the dates of the fair? I think that's the one thing we haven't talked about yet. Uh, August 23rd to the 27th. All right. So you can find all of the details on their website. What's your favorite fair food, Richard? Um, I'm going to go with the uh, cheese curds. All right, we've got a good menu and a lot to do. Congratulations on 150 years. Thanks to all of you for making the Wapaka Fair what it is. We hope to see you out there or stop by and see us at Futurity this weekend at the Brown County Fair.